This video covers section 1-5 on angle pairs. And by the end of this video, you should be able to define and identify adjacent angles, vertical angles, complementary angles, supplementary angles, linear pair, and angle bisectors. Okay, I know it's a lot of new vocabulary, um, and I hope it makes sense by the end of this video. Um, by the way, we're covering one geometry standard, G.6.2. Okay, adjacent angles are two angles that um, share a common side and a common vertex. Um, basically, they're two angles that are next to each other. Okay, and the word adjacent will come up several times um, this year, and it always means next to. So adjacent angles are angles that are next to each other. Okay, vertical angles, the definition is um, vertical angles are two angles whose sides are opposite rays. Now, what I usually look for are two straight lines. They have to be straight lines. Okay, and whenever you have two straight lines that intersect, then the angles that are opposite, for example, 3 and 4, are vertical angles. Angles that are opposite, like 1 and 2, are vertical angles. Okay, now I'm not thrilled about the term vertical angles because you think they have to be vertical, like 3 and 4, um, but they don't have to be vertical. They could be like 1 and 2, they could be, um, you know, they just have to be across from each other when two straight lines intersect. Okay, so two pairs of adjacent angles. There's lots of pairs of adjacent angles in this picture. Um, two of them could be, for example, um, angle DAC and angle CAB. These two angles are adjacent angles because they're next to each other. Um, one more pair, I'll just pick um, angle FAE and angle EAD. Okay, because they're next to each other, these two. This angle and this angle. Okay? Now, um, identify one pair of vertical angles. Now, there is only one pair of vertical angles in this picture, um, at least that is really clearly apparent. Um, the only pair really is right here, this angle. Okay, so I'll call these angle CAB and angle EAF. Okay, um, now I know sometimes it's it's um, tempting to call you know this angle and this angle. Uh, vertical because they are across from each other, but keep in mind that they have to be straight lines. Okay. Um, now, if you want to get technical, it's true that this angle, the big angle EAC um, and FAB, are vertical angles. Uh, but I think the simplest pair to, to see is angle CAB and angle EAF. Okay. Complementary angles are two angles. Um, whose measures have a sum of 90 degrees. So there are two angles that um, add up to 90 degrees. Okay, um, Here's a picture where they happen to be adjacent. Um, they don't have to be adjacent, though. They could be in different places um, on a diagram. As long as their measures add to be 90 degrees, they're complementary angles. Okay, Here's some more examples. Um, 30 degrees and 60 degrees are complementary because they add to 90, 72 degrees and 30, and 63 degrees, and 12 degrees and 78 degrees um, are all complementary um, angles. Okay, um, Supplementary angles are two angles whose measures have a sum of 180. Okay, um, They could be adjacent. Um, they don't have to be adjacent, though. Um, as long as their measures add to 180, they're supplementary angles. 25 and 155, 67 and 113, um, 124 and 65, as long as the measures add to 180, they are considered supplementary angles. Okay, now 
in the past, students often get these two ideas confused because um, they're related. Okay. Um, now, two ways of remembering it. One is the fact that C comes before S in the alphabet. Okay. Just like 90 is less than 180 um, in our numbering system. Okay. So you know C comes before S, and so 90. Um, Complementary must be two angles that add to be 90, and supplementary is two angles that add to be 180. Um, the other way that I've heard is um, a 90 degree angle um, kind of looks like a laptop computer, com computer, complementary, um, and a 180 degree angle, a straight angle, looks kind of like something that you would eat supper on. So sup, that's a plate. Um, Supper, supplementary. Um, that's, those are two ways of remembering that complementary is like a computer. Supplementary, like a supper, or the the um, alphabetical method. Okay. So um, here are some angles, and we want to find the complement and the supplement. Okay, meaning the the angle that we would need to make either 90 or 180. The complement of 28 would be 90 minus 28 which is 62. Um, the supplement of 28 is 180 minus 28, which is 152. Okay. Similarly, the complement of 49 is 90 minus 49, is 41 and the supplement is 180 minus 49 which is 131 okay let me jump down um, 23 degrees and seven and 67 degrees make 90 I should put degrees on all of these um, 100 degrees. Typically, we are doing 90 minus 100, um, but that would give me a negative angle. Um, and the truth is, because um, 100 is bigger than 90, there's no other, you know, complement that would add with it to get 90 because it's already too big. So there just would be none. Um, the supplement would be 180 minus 100, or 80. And um, similarly, there's no um, complement of, of 147 degrees, but the supplement would be 33 degrees. Okay? So, to kind of summarize these four um, vocabulary words before we move on, um, adjacent angles are angles that are next to each other. Vertical angles are um, across from each other when two straight lines intersect. Complementary angles are two angles whose measures add to be 90 degrees, and supplementary angles are two angles whose measures add to be 180. Okay, a linear pair. Um, a linear pair is, I think, a pretty good term for this because they're two angles, uh, a pair of angles that make a line. Okay, a linear pair. Um, they have to be adjacent. So there are two adjacent angles that share a side and make a line. So these two angles right here, this angle and this angle, are adjacent because they're next to each other, and they make a line. Okay. Now here's a linear pair postulate. Again, a postulate is an accepted statement of fact um, that two angles that form a linear pair, like the two above, are supplementary. Well, it, it should make sense that um, because a straight line, a, a straight angle, has a measure of 180 degrees, that these two, um, that this linear pair, that these two angles will add to be 180, or that they'll be supplementary. Okay, um, what is the measure of angle KPL and the measure of LPJ? Well, um, these are a linear pair, and so their measures add to be 180. So if I take this angle, 
and add it to this angle, it should be equal to 180. So 2x plus 24 plus 4x plus 36 is equal to 180. Now I'm using the angle addition postulate here. Okay, I'll combine like terms. If I have two x's and four x's, then together I have six x's. And 24 plus 36 is 60. And that's equal to 180. Now, um, I will simplify by subtracting 6 from both sides to undo the plus 60. 6x is equal to 120. And I divide by 6. Divide by 6. x is equal to 20. Okay? Now, um, that is not the answer to the question. Always be sure that you answer the question. The question is, what is the measure of the two angles. So I'll plug them back in. Um, 2 times 20 plus 24. Let's see here, 2 times 20 is 40 plus 24 is 64 degrees. Okay? Um, and 4 times plugging x in, 20 plus 36 is, let's see here, 80 plus 36 is 116. Okay, and those angles do add up to be 180. Okay, so the measure of angle KPL is 64 degrees, and the measure of angle um, LPJ is 116 degrees. Okay, um, the last concept we're talking about is an angle bisector. Um, now again, keep in mind that the word bisect um, comes from two parts. The bi means two, like a bicycle, and sect means to cut. Okay, so the word bisect always means to cut in half. So an angle bisector cuts an angle in half. So an angle bisector is a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles, and its endpoint must be at the um, angle's vertex. Okay, so in this diagram down here, um, ray AC is the angle bisector of the blue angle, um, angle BAD, okay? And since it's the angle bisector, um, angle BAC, this angle, will be congruent to angle CAD, okay? And the way that we'll write, um, we'll kind of draw congruence on a diagram is by using um, this little um, arc in the very middle of the angle, okay? And if it's the same, then that means those two are congruent. Okay, so angle bisectors cut an angle in half, and the two angles would, the, the two halves um, would be congruent. Okay, this video is about angle pairs, about adjacent angles, meaning they're next to each other, about vertical angles, they're across from each other when two straight lines intersect draw some pictures. Um, adjacent angles are next to each other. A vertical angles, when two straight lines intersect, they are opposites. Okay. Complementary angles are um, two angles oops, that add to be 90. Um, supplementary angles are two angles that add to be 180. A linear pair are two angles that form a straight line. Okay, they have to be adjacent um, and they form a straight line. An angle bisector is a ray that cuts an angle in perfectly in half. So these two parts are congruent. Okay.